All right, everybody. It's the next day. I spent uh, quite a bit of time the other evening cleaning out the head. So, you know, just getting in the the valleys, cleaning out these areas where the stem seals go, cleaning out the areas where the the head um, washers go. Just again, making sure everything's clean. Um, and so right now, we're going to start to put back together. As you can see, all my cleaning stuff is here, just blowing out the valleys with air. We've cleaned off the bottom of the head, the same method as cleaning the, um, the block. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just test out um, one of these valves, intake valves. They do have a little ridge on there, but um, I'm gonna try to um, grind the valves, valve seats on the intake side and see if that helps any. If it doesn't help any and all the intake seats on um, the head are good. I'm just gonna throw them back in because they seem really clean. They're not pitted at all. They're shiny. So yeah, we'll see. Especially on the on the head so maybe I will just quickly put a little bit of fine grade um, compound and quickly grind these down using all the all the valves um, better safe than sorry right everybody so now uh, I've done lapping the valves the intake valves work I've cleaned everything as best as I can and we're now gonna start putting this um, together so what we first have to do is I'm going to be inserting uh, one valve at a time we're gonna do intake valve so for example I'm gonna take an intake valve I am going to use this bucket here to clean everything off really, really, really well. Make sure everything is spick and span and then dried. I'll just put this here. So I'm just using some brake clean to then clean everything up. I put on a new set of gloves for this. Almost had a brake clean here, but you get the idea. Same with the spring. Just put the spring down with the hat. We're just gonna clean it off really, really well, as best as we can. I'm gonna put a little oil, just with my pinky, on the shaft. Then we're gonna place it in the valve. And then we're going to Take a valve stem seal. These are nice and new. The seal is nice and rubbery. I'm gonna coat the valve stem seal in some oil. Just dip it in there. Oh no, this is the part that I'm gonna have to show somehow. Hmm. Well, you put this little plastic tube that comes with your valve stem seal kit and you put it over the end of the valve and then you slip the valve stem seal on and what that does is it prevents the valve stem seal from binding on the valve so it'll kind of look like that here let me just grab a valve to show you so again what you're going to do on the head is you're going to put the valve little tool plastic thing 
and then you're going to put the valve stem seal over top of this so that it doesn't bind and then you're going to press this down with the with the valve stem pliers so let's I'm going to try to show this to you so we've pushed in our valve I have my little valve stem seal tool tool valve stem seal plastic uh, thingy I'm just going to put that on there and I've lubed up my valve stem seal and I'm going to push it on over top gently just like that and then you want to get this to seat properly so I'm just pushing from the back and I need to move this so I can get some space on it all right so now we've got our valve stem steel seal um, on there what we're gonna do is we're just gonna seat it down there into um, its little holder and then this thing can this can come off that can come off and we can put the maybe I'll do all of these first and then I'll put the valve springs on and that's it that's how you put the valve st valve and valve stem seal back in so now I'm gonna do the rest of these and then we'll put the springs back on as well Trying to demonstrate for you how to put the valve springs and retainers back on. Oh, so just before this step, a little tip. First, what I did was uh, again, I used this little bucket with some brake clean. I cleaned off every single valve, brake cleaned it, wiped it down, and then put it in. Brake clean, wipe it down, then put it in. Then I grabbed um, a little bit of fresh oil lubed up the valve stem seals and then put each valve stem seal on and then now I'm doing the springs and retainers so the way I'm doing that is like this what you want to do again is first I'm going to clean off the spring and retainer sorry not retainer uh, spring and hat and we're going to slide it on there. So also I pushed these down quite hard with this uh, valve spring tool just to make sure all the valve stem seals are seated. So we're gonna put this in. Like that. We're going to place our valve spring compressor tool we're going to tighten this down now so you can see the spot where the keepers go and now this is my little trick um, what I've been doing is I've been taking my magnetic pen here oh by the way make sure that the valve keepers are tapered they're tapered so they go from a small side to the big side make sure the small side is facing down towards the head and the and the bigger side is facing up so what I've been doing is just grabbing the retainer like this dabbing a little bit of oil on it just so it'll stay and then I'm going to move this and then just getting it close enough so that I can push it on to the valve with my finger just like that of course it went on the wrong way big end facing you and then once I have it in the right place I'm just gonna spin it 
and the oil will help it stick there. So now let's grab the next one, dab a little bit of oil, and then we're going to get up into here and then push it onto the valve and hold it in place. And there you go. And then you can use your fingers to make sure it's on there. And then as we undo the valve stem, sorry, the valve spring tool, try to aim so that the hole is centering on the keepers and going past them. And then there you have it. So once you've done that, you can then hit this with like a rubber mallet to make sure that the valve can compress or the valve spring can, can move and the, and the retainer clips, the keepers are, are kind of wedged in there nicely. So, I mean, I'm now gonna do this for the rest of these valves. Um, so I'll see you in like 30 minutes. <laughs>
It's okay. I'm lubing up the whole thing. Putting a bit of lube in the, the hole itself. Placing the lifter in there. Also cleaning off the roller. If it's dirty, just spray with a bit of brake clean. Again, wipe it off. Then putting a bit of oil on it, just to get it started, like on the head here, and on the roller itself, and then placing it on and pressing it on and centering it, making sure it's centered on the valve. And that's pretty much that process. It's gone really well. Everything's nice and clean. Everything's looking good. All right, so all those uh, lifters and uh, um, lifters and rollers are back in there. Um, so now we're gonna put back in the eccentric shaft and then the intake camshaft. And the eccentric shaft, you should be putting a some sort of lithium grease on here, but there's quite a bit of grease still on here and I've kept everything clean. So I'm just gonna put it back together. As you can see, it's still a little bit, just, there's a bit of grease on there. I'm just gonna put it back on the way it is. This only moves very, very slightly anyway. So it should be all right. Uh, I'm gonna go inside and print off the, the torque specs for this because I don't know what the torque specs are for the eccentric shaft caps or the intake cam uh, caps. So I'll be back in a second. So what you wanna do when putting this in is uh, make sure the surfaces are all clean. I've cleaned this. Um, and then what we're gonna do is place this in here gently. And you want this to line up the gears to line up with the shaft here. And there's still a little bit of dirt on here. I'm gonna clean this again. And it kinda sits like that. And luckily, it does lock into place. Like it's not moving side to side. Just make sure your, your caps are all lined up there. Oh, and when you put the bearing caps back on, Make sure the orientation of the cap is correct. Now, if I remember, the number one should be upward for me, and that looks better. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. So just clean off the cap. Sure there's no dirt or anything on there. And again, I'm gonna dab a little bit of oil. Just a little bit of oil on here. And then we're gonna put this back together. And I'm just putting the end caps on finger tight. And then we'll put the rest on and um, I'll get the torque specs. There's a little stopper here and a little stopper right here, but you have to screw that one in. So I'm assuming that's right. So the caps are back on. Put a little bit of oil on each of them. Um, it does center on the this shaft gear here. And there's a stopper here, and there's a stopper that you have to screw in over here between cylinder uh, one and two um, later. Um, so, rolls nicely. I'm gonna go get the torque specs and uh, torque this down. So next we're gonna put in the intake camshaft. What I suggest you do is just rotate this over. So I've just tightened the eccentric shaft by hand just so that it looks good enough. So that just so that it holds in there. Um, it's not 
torqued or anything, but it's centered, looks good. So now we can put on the intake side. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up the, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up these um, cam bearings. They are a little bit dirty. Just put a little bit of brake clean. So one thing we have to do first to the intake and exhaust camshafts is we're replacing the little uh, seals that go right here on the end of the of the camshaft. These are used, I guess, for the vanos. Um, and what ends up happening is they wear they wear down a groove in the cam ledge, and what you end up happening is oil can seep by and you don't get pressure going to your vanos and cuz this these metal rings they wear a groove in the in the cam ledge. So what you can do is they've updated the part. That's the part number. Make sure that uh, you have the right one for your car. But what we're going to do is carefully remove these. You can see there's just a metal ring with a little kind of locking mechanism. I'm sure I think we push them together and then we can use a pick to kind of work them out and then put these guys on a single piece. It kind of feels like Teflon or something. Anyway, let's get started. Oh, well that was easy. So what you do is just push it together and then you can get a pick in there to kind of unclip it. like that now I've unclipped it and then we should just be able to pull this off just like a piston ring there's one and there's two they both look the same. All right, hopefully this works. I'll put some oil on here a little bit maybe. All right. So I just used the the pick to kind of work it up and over. There we go, and that's done. Your little, uh... So now let's clean this up and let's put this back in the car. So what I'm gonna do here is, uh, you know, before putting the camshaft back in, um, I am going to, I've cleaned everything really well. Um, I am going to be trying to prime the system a little bit just put a bit of oil in the in the oil galleries here don't even know if it'll hold but there is like the vanos galleries here yeah it's not gonna hold at all it just goes just seeps out so in case of that you can use assembly lube so i bought this uh um, lucas oil assembly lube um, some people say hey you should you don't need to use this stuff some people swear by it I'd rather be safe than sorry so I am gonna just put oh this stuff's sticky 
Let's try and prime these holes a little bit. Because the oil has to pump all the way up to the top. And then we're going to set this intake camshaft in there. There we go. So now I'm going to just clean up all the caps and uh, tighten them down by hand. Shaft is in there. I'm just gonna rotate it. No binding. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, moves really nicely. Again, I've just tightened everything down. I guess I'll go get the torque specs now. Also, remember to put in the bearing caps. Of course, not they're numbered, but also put them in the right orientation. Um, I had the six facing, so you ha if you're standing on the other side, I had the numbers facing you as if you were reading it that way. So just make sure that um, that's the case for all your, your uh, end bearing caps. I also added a bunch of oil um, on top of the assembly lube just in case. Okay, so I looked up the specs and it says 9 Newton meters. It doesn't say to do them in any specific order, so maybe I'll just start in the middle. Really? It just feels like more than... I don't know, that just feels like more than nine newton meters of torque. So next we're gonna clean up these uh, intermediate shaft rollers. See a little dirt there. Um, and we're gonna plop them back into their spot here, they just kind of float there until the spring is on it. Um, with a little, they go on the groove on the intermediate shaft, eccentric shaft, and they sit on the roller um, there on the bottom. So um, I'm gonna maybe put some oil on these and uh, clean them up. Yeah, clean them up, put some oil on them, and set them in. So let's get going. Um, intermediate rockers are in there um, what I'm doing is I'm cleaning up these I've forgotten what they're called the intermediate rockers ride on these little points so I'm just putting a little bit of assembly lube even though they don't really move that much just for peace of mind um, keep the oil out of those holes though and then I'm placing this on top and my technique now I've, I've done two is what I'm doing is I'm pushing with two fingers on the intermediate rockers there to make sure that they're up against the eccentric shaft and that they're situated nicely on the bottom there. Remember the these intermediate rockers, they have the little tab on the back. That tab should be facing you when you're doing this so that the spring can go on it easily. What I'm doing is I'm just holding this centered like that. Actually, I'll put the, I'll just screw in gently by hand the screws. And then what I'm doing is I'm holding these two eccentric shaft, uh, sorry, these two intermediate rockers on the eccentric shaft and then pushing this back 
towards uh, towards it as well. And then I'm going to gently tighten it down. And there you go. And then what you can do is just double check to make sure that these are riding on the eccentric shaft and you can even lift the eccentric shaft and make sure everything moves correctly. See? This is a better view of what's actually going on. See how it's riding on the top there on that eccentric shaft and on the bottom it's loose. Now this is really in there so it shouldn't be able to come out anymore but it shouldn't be binding either. Okay so I'm gonna keep working on the rest of these. This is also a quick tip when you're at this point or any point in the build um, get yourself a, a T40 I believe this is a T40, yeah, and right down here, hidden underneath the intake, I mean the ex next to the exhaust ports, there are two Vanos solenoid uh, filters, I guess you could call them. Let me take one out for you. Oh wow, they're in there. And take them out and clean them out. How are people supposed to take these out? There we go. So there's a little uh, metal filter here um, that filters out, yeah, the Vanos. I'm gonna also replace this little um, rubber, uh, rubber O-ring. It looks, it feels hard as a rock. So we'll replace that. Um, and yeah, we'll just clean this out. And we'll throw it back in. There's two of them, by the way. So look how full of crud that one is. It's got a bit in there. So we're going to clean that up. No sludge, though, which is nice. Just wonder if these particles are magnetic. Nope. Okay, well now we're going to try and put back on the springs, the same method that we took them off. So at the back here, you have this tiny little tab um, that uh, the end of the spring fits in. So what we want to do is try to wrap the spring around all of this stuff, sit the spring down in here with um, this piece facing where it's supposed to screw in. And then we're going to put together our improvised tool again to uh, try and cinch it down and then put the, put the screw back in its place. You may want to help ask somebody for help here just so that everything stays together nicely. I'm just going to put the little tabs where they go. I'm just going to set this in here. And the first one's always going to be hardest because you have nothing really to kind of hold this into. Maybe I'll just make it longer. Hmm, this, this actually needs to sit a bit lower. Maybe you just have to do it like this. So they're not sitting in the tab down here, but maybe that's just how it's got to be in the beginning. This is what I mean, this is the hard part. You need somebody 
you need to crank down on this and then you need somebody to screw it in for you. So, because that won't work like that. Nope, so this already twisted. Do you see how this twisted this? Um... So how can we turn the crankshaft so that it's pushing on that? Uh... I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Kind of need two people for this. All right. Both. So I actually rotated the crankshaft so the lobes are actually not touching the um, intermediate rocker arms. Um, and that way it allows for the, it allows for the spring to actually flex out further and rest in the tabs a lot easier because when I was trying to do it the other way, you had to actually load up the spring an incredible amount to get the same result. So try to try to twist the, the crankshaft, uh, sorry, try to twist the intake shaft so that you can get least the least amount of tension on these. Except for that intermediate rocker, I'm gonna move that one over. That one needs to line up with this. This one on the left is lined up and the tabs are in place there at the bottom. So that's what we want. So I'm gonna try and move over now this little rocker using something. I have a little pry bar here. I'm just gonna try and move it over somehow. There we go. And that'll click into place. And again, the tab down there is in place. So now we have to do that for, and I'm going to have to torque, torque this bolt down a bit better. It is kind of at an angle. We'll straighten that out and torque them all down maybe at the end. So now let's do the next one. So ladies and gentlemen, um, I've just figured out a better way to do this. I would definitely do it from piston one to piston six because of this piece of uh, steel here. You got to kind of fit it in the back. Now that I've done this one, it's kind of hard to fit it in all the way. Um, so that's one top tech tip because now I can't pull this out. Because it's really in there. So I may have to take off number six. Yeah, maybe. All right, so now let's try this again. do is put the next one on number two all right so I'm gonna try and show you this again first thing we want to do is set this in here behind the intermediate rockers just like that now I recommend you rotate the crankshaft and figure out how to do this So what I did was I put a 27 millimeter socket on the end here of the crankshaft and then just rotate it a bit until you get to uh, where you need to be. And now there's a lot less pressure. Oh yeah, there you go. We're gonna set that up on the tabs. Yeah, I should have, uh, should take this number six off. This is too many moving, moving parts. Okay. So we're going to just look underneath, navigate to um, the tabs, make sure the spring ends are in the little tab there. 
we're going to then put our spanners and rod through. Come on. I don't got all day. What's going on? All right. And then we're going to just prep our bolt. When you actually put a little bit of pressure on there, it kind of cinches down in there and it doesn't move. Now that we have pressure on that, we're gonna just push this down a little bit. Get those into their tabs. Which it doesn't wanna do. Super. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's try this again. Take four. Um, we're going to, again, adjust the camshaft so that there's the least amount of slack on the spring possible. That means these little intermediate, um, these intermediate rollers will be the furthest facing back. Um, we can then slide our spring in and uh, look to see if we can get them to sit, the end of the spring to sit in the tabs um, that's, that are there for it. We're going to then put in our rod and all that stuff. Well, you should do that actually first, putting your rod through the spring. And we're going to put the bolt in here under a little bit of tension at the top, just like that. No, nope, these fell out. Gotta keep that push down. Let's reset our tabs. Keep that push down. And then we're gonna pull it onto the hole. And bam, that one worked out really well. They're in the tabs down there and uh, everything looks good. So now what I'm gonna do is just with some needle nose pliers, um, just put a little bit of pressure on them to spread it out um, and then test the eccentric shaft that it still works and that things are moving. This one is not moving. So take this all off and then test the eccentric shaft to make sure that it's still moving, moving as expected. All right, so I got all of them on. This will be the most challenging thing you do all day but you kind of get yourself in a nice rhythm. So again, things to check when they're done, uh, when you're done is make sure that this intermediate, intermediate rocker is on the right, uh, is, is aligned with this eccentric shaft. So that one's good. Even what I'm doing here is um, just making sure that it's, it's all centered up. Make sure that the tab here at the bottom of the, the spring is in its right rightful spot on all of them. And when that's all good and dandy, just try to try to move that intermediate shaft to make sure it's okay and check all of them to make sure that all of them are aligned and the spring's in the tab. Hey guys, just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of you that have subscribed. You guys are really helping grow the channel. Um, in the next video, we're going to put together the exhaust side of the intake. We're going to reinstall the valve stem seals and the valves and the exhaust camshaft, of course. And then we'll be pretty much done with the cylinder head. Consider dropping a like if this information was helpful for you. And hope you guys go watch the next video in this series.